guys welcome back to the channel today i'm doing an unboxing of a couple of items i haven't gotten able to do that in a while so excited to share what i picked up you can kind of see a sneak peek here i did get kit items this time and i have a retired item that i bought from a seller on um instagram and i'll link her down below because she's trying to clear out her collection and as an adult collector, she has lots of great things um, that are in well, in good condition. So I'll do that first and then we'll go into the kit items. Um, kit is sort of doing the same thing that Molly did with the birthday celebration. Her year is 1934. And so they brought back Kit in her original meat outfit. I've loved Kit for a while. She was the first doll that I got as an adult collector. And so I have the Be Forever Kit, which I'll do some comparisons on in future videos but I definitely wanted to grab this collection. So let's get started with the retired item. Okay, so like I said, the seller on Instagram is just clearing out some of their collection. They are an adult collector. Um, and so she's been selling for a few weeks now. Um, and I saw something that I liked. Um, do I need it? No, I liked it. Let me pan the camera down a little bit, back it up. Okay, so this is the Truly Me or My American Girls before Truly Me softball set. And I actually just sold a softball set, so that's something. But I picked this one up because it was from um, better quality items. It was all still, still new, and it had a charm in it, which the charms stopped right around when we started collecting about 2014-ish, um, and so only a few of our items had charms in them, but I think that's just so cute. So in the box, we have the helmet, purple socks, and purple cleats. We have the outfit, nice little sleeveless v-neck with shorts. And hair ties, which we could always use. And then the bat and ball. And again, all of this is pretty much in new packaging. It's like the outfit probably wasn't. And it's just really nicely packaged. Um, you know, as when you buy from people, you don't know how they might keep their items. But everything looks great. There's no smells. I'm a, very offended by smells. And so there's no smell inside the box okay so let's see if we can figure out what the charm is okay this is a confident charm and it is a square charm so if i don't really know the story behind these because like i said we started right when they were wrapping up the charms but i think they were supposed to go on a charm bracelet or something like that um, but they're just really cute to have and nostalgic because they don't do this stuff anymore so if you know more about this comment down below and educate us because like i said we only have a couple so i appreciate this seller she posts um on instagram mostly like i said and her items are new in box or gently used as an adult collector um and she has fair prices she uses paypal friends and family to get things shipped out to you and she was a really fast shipper too so highly recommend i'll link her down below all right, next let's get into our kit items this package came yesterday but i had a work thing um and i was just too tired to do this whole video then and i really wanted to be surprised in the moment with the doll because like i said i have the be forever kit um and this is going to be kit in the original outfit and i'm going to assume that her hair is the original length so if you kind of follow it the be forever kit had a very short bob and this kit hair the hair is a little bit longer so we'll see okay so first up of course we got the pet this is grace um and we generally get the pets we have a whole tub of them i keep thinking about doing a video about all the pets we have but like i feel like it would be so long and kind of boring but here is grace let's push this up a little, a little bit so cute so chunky look at those legs adorable and the face is just so cute this is a soft body plush um so it doesn't have posable legs nice long tail very cute 
Okay, then I picked up two outfits. I picked up the birthday outfit and the school outfit. I love the school outfits. Um, and the birthday outfit was just one that I didn't have. And again, like they did with Molly, they brought all these things out. And so let's get them if we can. I think I still want to pick up maybe the scooter at some point, but who knows? Okay, so here is the box. All right. Starting with the dress. It is really nice quality. As you know, the historical items are generally made a bit better, a little bit thicker, nicer quality. Um, it's a wrap style dress. Velcro in the back and faux buttons in the front. So it looks like buttons, but they do not work. And this is belted, but it doesn't come undone. And then very simply comes with shoes. And there's like a little mark on here, but that's okay. You can see it right there. Um, these are patent leather. They look really cute. And it reminds me of her like reporter outfit, the sort of color palette. And then she has a really cute headband to go with her short hair. And then in this box, you have the Kit Kittredge um, little pamphlet, wishing her happy birthday. So that's really cute. So I love that outfit. In my next video, I'll do a review of these and try these outfits on Kit and sort of compare Beef Forever Kit with Birthday Kit, AKA Original Kit. All right, next up is the school outfit. Okay, and like I said, we usually like the school outfits. Most of the historical dolls have a school outfit in their collection, and we have them. All right, so this is two pieces, starting with the shirt. Again, very nice quality. Um, very, like a heavy material. Nice collar that's a different fabric. And velcro down the back. And then your jumper dress, which is so cute. Again, nice and thick. And you would put the shirt right under it. I love that pattern. It's like um, gingham, but also you have the flower detail. Velcro in the back. And then you have this very cute belt as an accessory that goes around the dress white socks and these adorable shoes I love those and you could probably wear them with lots of different outfits and it comes with a little comb little pick for her hair and then here is this pamphlet we already have her lunch set so I'm not gonna buy it I also have her desk and some of her other outfits her camera her accessories things like that but here's what the outfit looks like on and again, in my next video, I will get a review of those and try them on the dolls. Okay, now time for Kit herself. Okay, let's get her out of there. And I... I think I've talked about this on my community tab. I actually had um, two um, rewards that needed to be used. And there's a code going around called, it's WOW GIFTS, plural, so G-I-F-T-S, in all caps. And that gives you $20 off too. And so I basically got $90 off this entire package. So I wasn't planning to buy a doll at all. But there wasn't really much that I wanted to buy and I wanted to meet the shipping limit. And so this is what we decided on. Okay, so here is her book, her original book, which we do have already. Um, and I still love this style of books. I wish they brought it back. I'm still looking for a Ruthie and a Nelly. If anybody knows, they're always so expensive on ebay or anything like that so that's her story in these sets you also get 
some accessories. So this is her accessory pack. I forgot about this part, but I saw somebody else unbox her. I was like, oh yeah, that's right. Okay, so she has a necklace. Looks like a little compass. Some money. A little purse, which is so cute. I'm gonna open this one up. It's got a little spot for her to hold. Oh, and then that unhooks. So it's like almost like a wicker purse. Let me put those right in there. I like to put smaller accessories inside of a bag if I can so that they don't get lost. I just have to remember what bag I put them in, <laughs> which is not always easy. And then we have this little napkin handkerchief and her adorable hat. All right, so let's take her out the box. I do like that they do the um, accessories with these dolls. Um, and again, they are a little bit better quality because they are historical dolls. And if they continue to bring back the historical dolls and like really put effort into their collections, I think they would do really well for themselves. I think lots of us want to continue collecting in that way. Okay, let's get her out. Oh, she's perfect. She looks great. I'm going to take off her little leg wraps and we'll set the camera for you so cute this little cardigan sweater set is adorable the skirt is very nice again it's thick and she has these cute sort of open mary jane style shoes i'm gonna take off her hairnet And they already gave her a clip in her hair, which is nice. I'm really interested to see what her length of her hair will be. There we go. Oh, adorable. Okay, so it's not super long. I'll have to compare them both. So the next video, I'll show you that. It's still about the length as the other one. But she looks adorable. Perfect little freckle specks. Here's her in the back. And I love that short hair. I also like to modernize my kit and put her in modern clothes. She looks adorable. So I definitely appreciate this purchase and, and then again bringing out some of the historical dolls back into the collections. Um, comment down below if you're picking up any of Kit's items, if you like Kit as a historical doll or if you picked her up. And as always, thank you so much for engaging the channel. Please like, comment, subscribe. And in my next video, I will be giving reviews of the items that I purchased. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one.